An Alexa compatible speaker with some tricks up its sleeve? Let's check it out. Dave Taylor here, and this time I'm looking at another Alexa powered speaker. That's this. This is the iLive Concierge wireless speaker powered by Alexa. You'll notice on the top I have a red ring because I've muted it so it won't answer. Let's turn that off. Alexa, what's the weather outside? In Boulder, there's a winter storm warning in effect until Sunday, January 21st, 5 p.m. Yeah, not great weather outside. Degrees with snow. You can expect more of the same today with a high of 28 degrees and a Alexa, low of 21 stop. degrees. Alexa, stop. So, it works. Now, really, for something like this, the real question is what about the sound? So let's start with some music. Alexa, play Spotify. Let's see what it comes up Resuming with. Resuming Spotify. Now, something changed because I have a second one of these speakers. Now, here's where this gets really cool. I'm gonna have to stop this. Alexa, stop. And the reason I have to stop it is I don't have license rights to that. So here's what's cool is that if you have multiple of these up to six, they automatically multi-speaker pair using Wi-Fi so you can have them 50, 60, 70 feet apart as long as they're on the same Wi-Fi network. And here's what's even more cool is it works whether you're using it with the Alexa or whether you're using it as a Bluetooth speaker or even if you plug it in with AUX. So let me demonstrate that real quick. First off, one thing I really like is there are mode buttons with vo um, audio feedback. Bluetooth mode. So I'll go into Bluetooth mode, unlock my phone, make sure it's paired to Bluetooth. Let's see. Um, let's see, looks like it's connected. So now we can go, let me find some music that I can play a little bit. And we'll go here and here and here and let's just go forward a little bit in the song and this speaker and this speaker. So both speakers are working so I get a nice stereo sound and it's via Bluetooth and the way that works is that one of them becomes the master speaker and the other one becomes the, I don't want to say slave, that's probably not a great word, but one of them becomes the subservient speaker. <laughs> Let's pause this one too. So really, really simple. Now the only interesting thing is that each one actually can also exist as its own Alexa speaker. So watch what happens when I unmute this one and we take this one back. Auxiliary mode. Yes, it has an AUX input, and now wi we're back mode. to Wi-Fi mode. We'll unmute, and now, Alexa, what time is it? Alexa, voice service is not supported on slave speakers. Please ungroup the speaker. So. Sorry, I'm not sure. <laughs> I don't know why she's not sure what time it is, but that's a little tedious, as I wish that when you were in multi-speaker mode, it would either do the standard um, technique, I'm going to mute both of these, the standard technique of picking the louder source and using that as the one you're closest to, or simply just permamute the second speaker so that I didn't have that issue, because if I have speakers on the opposite sides of my room and I talk to Alexa, I don't really want this one constantly saying, hey, yo, you know, um, I can't work with you because I'm actually in slave mode. So, probably not a huge issue, but let me tell you this, is that one of the other things that's cool about these, as you notice, no wires. So, they have a built-in battery, and it turns out that battery can run up to five hours if you're using it in Bluetooth mode, and only a couple of hours if you're running it in Wi-Fi mode. And the Wi-Fi mode, the reason that eats more battery is because it's constantly listening, and so there's just a lot of drain on the system. So, you can use them plugged in, you can leave them plugged in, and then when you want, you grab one and you're on your way to your picnic or party or whatever. You could have these outside, though they're not outdoor rated, they're not water resistant, dust resistant, or anything. There's no information from iLive on that. Um, the Alexa version they're using is pretty standard third-party Alexa support, so it includes Spotify and Pandora, but it doesn't include Sirius XM, and you can't group this in Alexa groups. So if you have a bunch of Echoes, you can actually create a music group across multiple rooms. Here, with something like this, you'd need this exact speaker. Now, what else can I tell you about them? They're seven inches tall, 
about three inches across and they're under a pound each so they're really light and remember that includes the battery so that's pretty nice comes with an AUX cable and I really like AUX in it's just a really nice option to have now by contrast the uh, Amazon Echo Dot has AUX out so that's the opposite direction this one actually lets you push music into the speakers and like I said if you plug it into the master speaker and you have a second or third or fourth speaker they'll all automatically be playing the music in sync works really well it's very slick so comes with the AUX cable also comes with the micro USB charging cable it does not however come with the little micro USB or USB charging device you plug into the wall I think vendors are starting to realize that most of us have a whole lot of those anyway so they don't include it if you need to get one you can get it through them but you can also honestly swing to Target or your local gas station or anywhere else and probably pick one up for like two or three dollars and work fine now one of the things I really like about the concierge is that it has this row of buttons down the back and here's a close-up you can see it gives you um, microphone microphone mute volume up and down it gives you the ability to do pause or play and pair go into pairing mode in different devices and then there's the mode button power and AUX in so all very nice very simple functionality pairing was a little bit tricky but I went through exactly step by step what they had in the book and I had both of them paired and working together in the app that comes with the um, devices and it was all working within just a minute or two and let me just show you super quick here's what the app looks like so you can see here how I have both speakers showing up and I can unpair them if I want to have them in different rooms and not working together or I can repair them if I want to so super easy to work with but it might be something where if you're less experienced that you'll find that there's a lot of steps involved you can do it I have confidence now the only other thing to talk about is music quality and eh, you know they're not great sounding speakers they're good they're certainly good enough like this would be a rock and pair to have in a dorm room for example but there's no real bass to talk of and it's really sort of biased more towards the high end using two of them definitely gives you some sound stage but they're not doing any special signal processing to really give you stereo other than whatever's already in the music source so you know like a lot of speakers like of this nature there's nothing really audiophile about these but you know given the price they work really well it's a nice entree into a smart home or into getting into the Alexa world and the design of it is is pretty nice it's a fabric covering and you know they're a little plasticky the it's not metal it's a plastic but you know what they look nice they look fine I could see you having these in an executive office for example that would work totally fine so only other thing to talk about is the price before I get there let me ask can you go ahead and click on that subscribe button cool thank you now how much would you pay for these well the equivalent size and functionality well not even functionality but the equivalent size Amazon unit is probably going to run you about a hundred hundred and ten bucks because that's probably an echo 2 a little shorter but probably a little better sound um, these however at Amazon are sixty eight dollars and this is weird sixty eight dollars and thirteen cents but I was poking around this morning looking at different options to buy them and Big Lots has them too and Big Lots has a wicked good deal because they have them for 65 bucks but you can sign up for a 20% off discount which drops them down to 52 bucks each which means for basically a hundred dollars you can get a pair of these that's a pretty sweet deal I don't know if it's still there you might want to check it out but the moral of the story is iLive concierge wireless speakers pretty nice entree into the world of Alexa and voice activated speakers really like the way they implemented the multi speaker systems very well done and the sound is certainly acceptable so check it out do a little homework on pricing if you're going to actually pick up one or more and this is Dave Taylor and I'll catch you in my next video